thousand people are expected to float on the Willamette River in downtown Portland this Saturday. It is an annual event called the Big Float, and as Cor Harlan shows us, it's part of an effort to reconnect people with a much cleaner Willamette River. Organizers of this weekend's Big Float say they expect maybe 6,000 people to be on the water this coming Saturday. It's a testament, they say, to the growing popularity of people being on the river, and organizers say this could be the largest single gathering of people on the Willamette River in over 100 years. It was into the 70 degree water of the Willamette River this morning for the Willamette River Huggers, here for their weekly Wednesday morning swim, but also here to help raise awareness about this Saturday's big float. The float is growing in popularity. Starting at the Tom McCall Waterfront Bowl, floaters will walk south along the River Place Esplanade with their inflatables and get in the water at Poets Beach under the Markham Bridge, where they will float back to the bowl for a pretty spectacular after float party. And then at the after party, we have 200 foot long slip and slides, bounce house for kids, food carts, complimentary chair massages. Uh, beer, wine, food, it's an incredible time. This is a new river, official testing shows. It's much cleaner than it used to be. Not the low oxygen river of the 1950s where fish died. Not the river with unregulated pollution. Combined stormwater, sewer overflows into the water are now a rare occurrence. To Willie Levinson, ringleader of the Human Access Project that organizes the big float, that means it's water that's safe to swim in. And if you feel like it is not safe from a human health perspective, one of two things are happening. You're either not informed or you're a science denier because there is no scientific disagreement that says that it is not safe to swim in the Willamette. And you know what? That's awesome news. Weather is expected to cooperate as more and more people sign on to make the Willamette River part of the play and recreation space well suited to the progressive green impulses of many people who live here. Or Harlan, Point Six News.